Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with, are you ready? Scriabin, part two. Quiet one this time. Gentle, mysterious, voluptuous. Yes, we're talking about Scriabin. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, look at that. Okay. Here we are. You ready? Um, this is Scriabin, part two, and... The second of only two parts, then we'll be done. Yes, thank God. Okay, Scriabin, Symphony Number no. Two, Poem of Ecstasy, Svetlanov, USSR Symphony Orchestra. Well, I actually just did those. They were in this pile. I don't know if it's the same performance of the Poem of Ecstasy. Um, does it say who the trumpeter? No, it's a different one, because here the in this one the trumpeter was Yuri Krivoshev, uh, and here the trumpeter is. Uh, Lev Volodin, or Volodin, so yeah, okay. So you get a different one, isn't that exciting? Um, but I think the second symphony is the same, so it's okay. Scriabin, Piano Concerto and Prometheus. Um, this is, and you've got some, let's see, Piano Concerto, some Preludes, and, and, and Fragilité, Opus 51, number one, there you go. And the Funeral March from Sonata number one, Opus six, I don't know why that's separate. This is with Konstantin Sherbakov, I mean, he's a good pianist. The Russian State TV and Radio Choir and the Moscow Symphony under Igor Golovshin. Well, Nexos. Okay, so it's not Moody and Philly. I mean, but I kept it because I like Sherbakov. Uh, Scriabin, Poem Dextaz, Piano Concerto and Prometheus with Chicago Symphony and Anatole Ugorsky Piano and Pierre Boulez. Ooh, this was not good. I kept it because it's Boulez, but this is just this is not good. I reviewed it, I believe, on classicstoday.com. It was rather etoliated and anemiafied and slowish and sluggish and just not good. You know? Okay, Poem of Ecstasy, Symphony Number no. 2. Oh, these were fun. The Poem of Ecstasy is with Chicago and Nimi Yarvi and Symphony Number no. 3 and the Reverie Opus 24. Okay, so the Poem of Ecstasy is with Chicago. Symphony Number no. 2 is with the, Scot the Royal Scottish National. And I think has the extra Tam Tam swats in it that I mentioned previously in the previous video. Um, and the Divine Poem is with the Danish, is it with the Danish something or other? Who's doing it? It doesn't even say. Oh, yes, it is. The Danish National Radio Symphony Orchestra. You know, and it's Yarvi, and it's it's Yarvi. It's fun. It's Yarvi. A little sloppy, a lot exciting. And that's, that's the good thing. All right, now we've got Richter. Richter playing Scriabin, quite a bit of Scriabin, including the Fifth Sonata, which he does just fantastically. He's a couple minutes faster than Horowitz, actually. Um, we've got, let's see, a bunch of Preludes, the Piano Sonata number two, a bunch of Etudes, Opus 42, Piano Sonatas five, nine, and the Poem, Opus 52, number one. Um, and this is all on music and arts. So this is from a public performance given in Warsaw, Poland, on 27 October, 1972, and it sounds like it, but it's Richter, so I kept it. Uh, Scriabin Symphony Number no. Three, Poem of Ecstasy, or Golovchin, um, our good friend Igor Golovchin, back on the Naxos Scriabin thing. You know these weren't bad. Um, they're not fabulous. They, I mean, the orchestra is not great. The sound is sort of iffy, but it was Scriabin. It was Naxos. I wanted to hang on to it. Scriabin symphonies. Here they are. Vladimir Ashkenazi with the Deutsche Symphony Orchestra Berlin and the Poem of Ecstasy, of course, you must have that. These are good, solid, decent performances. I mean, they're not gonna like, you know, roust you out of your chair and, 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 and give you a you know, sonic orgasm or any other kind for that matter, but uh, they're good. And so it was a handy, again, library edition to hang on to. Uh, Priya Scriabin, Poem of Fire. Uh, Fantasy for Piano and Orchestra, organized by Gennady Rostesvensky and the Piano Concerto with Victoria Postnikova. Um, these are slow. Rostesvensky, everything he did was slow. <laughs> what can I tell you? Oh, look, Horowitz does Scriabin. Um, this, is this the same as the other Horowitz? No, this isn't the same as the RCA Horowitz plays Scriabin, which I have over here. Probably why I kept both of these. Oh, this is the Columbia one, and that was the RCA one. No, there, there's a difference. Okay, so it's Piano Sonatas 9 and 10. 9 is the Black Mass. Ah! And uh, 10. And a pile of etudes and a pile of poems and, and Ver la Flamme. 
Opus 72 and other juicy sniglets. Oh, and here's a nutcase, Anatole Ugorski, who always looked kind of like Bozo the Clown. You ever notice? Well, in this picture, he doesn't quite have his left and right hair wings sticking out as much as they do in other photos. Um, you get the second sonata, the fifth sonata, which is always fun. A slow account of the fifth sonata, 13 and a bit minutes. Piano sonata nine and piano sonata three. Uh, he's individual. Let's put it that way. He's one of those guys who popped up on DG. He was famous for memorizing the entire Messiaen catalog des oiseaux and playing it and recording it. Um, that was like his big thing. And, and he did a bunch of other things and then he disappeared. He was very wayward, very quirky, very crazy. And that's why I still so Scriabin. So I saved it. And look at what this says. Oh, it says in Russian, I'm reading the Russian, Vladimir Sofronitsky. There he is, Scriabin's son-in-law, supposedly his greatest ever interpreter. Um, sonatas 1, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, and 10. Recorded between, well, some of these just say recorded live, but they don't say when. Um, some say archive recordings, some say recorded live, some say 1958, some say 1961. Some of these are a lot earlier. God knows what label this is on or how it existed. But it's Sofronitsky, so I kept it. Actually, I have, I think, a big Sofronitsky. I have a bunch of Sofronitsky things. There was a Denon edition. I think I still have it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see when we get to the SOs, won't we? Um, we passed the SOs. I don't have it then anymore. Oh, well. Uh, Scriabin Etudes, Alexander Pally Piano um, on, on uh, Daxos. This was good. This was very good. I enjoyed that. Uh, oh, yes. Yevgeny Sudbin. He's fantastic. You have his bis recordings. They're almost all really good. He's very intelligent. He writes his own notes. They actually make sense. It's kind of a miracle. So we've got sonatas, number two, five. Yay, number five. And it's 11 minutes long. In other words, it's the right tempo. Yes, the right tempo. He gets it right. And the Black Mass Sonata, number nine. And then a whole bunch of other short things that you always get with these sonata things. This is a bis DSD and gorgeous sound. Really a beautiful, beautiful record. And last... But certainly not least, never least, we have the symphonies with Vladimir Ashkenazi. Oh gosh, you mean the same as those? I thought this was the other one. This is the 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 the, the Deca Trio. There was a, the Phillips one, remember, with um, Eliyahu Inbal, I believe, did the Scriabin symphonies as well um, on Phillips. I think I have that upstairs somewhere. Yeah, I must have it up there. So we've got let's see, symphonies one, two, and three. Prometheus, the piano concerto. And the poem of ecstasy and the reverie. So there's more because this is a triple. And the uh, sim other symphony thing over here, let me just talk about, well, there it is, is a twofer. So they're not quite the same. So I guess I kept this because, because you get the piano concerto with Peter Yablonski, who's very good. Um, and uh, everybody else doing the same thing they did on that other Deca thing. Oh, well. Yeah, some duplication. But that's, that's the Overflow Scriabin collection. And there's quite a bit upstairs. And I think there's... Isn't there like a, a couple of boxes? Oh, I did the box. Yes, there's a complete edition on DECA. I remember that we talked about in another video that was most disappointing, actually. So, uh, you know, you're better off having the stuff in separates, I think, rather than getting just a big Scriabin box, or at least a DECA one. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks so much for joining me here in the Overflow Room. Take care.